be on live? Theoretically. Theoretically, maybe. Who knows? Let's have a gander. Live now. If you Brilliant. find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. Live now. Lovely. Just I'm just checking sound on another window. Beautiful. Let's go. Continue. So yesterday we learned who our three droids are. They are Connor, Kara, and why have I completely forgot the third one's name? Because he seems like he's going to be the badass. Um, but we lost Connor in the first scenario. That ended with him trying to save a girl and then falling off the roof. The second one, Kara, is um, owned by an absolute dickhead of a guy called Todd. Um, who actually broke her and she had to go away to be fixed and have her memory wiped. And then she's learning all of it again. And then the third one cares for this old man who seems proper gentlemanly, he's an artist, he like, he's not an android racist, which is always nice, don't, don't be an android racist, there's a tip for life. Anyway, we're going to jump straight back in with Quarren Stream, Detroit Become Human, part two. Lego. Oh, and then Connor came back, sorry, and we investigated a murder of an android gone rogue, and we've just arrested him when we found him in the attic. Or the loft, or whatever you want to call it. Do 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 ba ba da 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 ba. Right. Uh, accompanying me today, I have got a sandwich and a bottle of Lambrini. So it'll be fun. It's one of those really crappy three pound forty nine. It says in the bottle for a liter and a bit of Lambrini. But now we are back joining Kara and Alice. And Todd, unfortunately. Todd. Oh. <gasps> like, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around how lovely Kara is, because you look at her and think, normal human. Then you gotta remember, android. Yeah. Any normal human would absolutely snap back in. They would clap back, B shares. Obviously, is an android. Not allowed to do that. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. <sighs> Wait, that looks like baked beans and spaghetti. Don't knock it till you try it, I guess, but mm, not sure, kid. Part two, Gino. Part two, bruh. Um, do I just stand here awkwardly? Can I pour a drink? I'm going to walk away. Goodbye. Enjoy your beans and see shit. Okay, Google. Turn on the lights. Uh, is that a light switch here? That's a light switch here. Good. See you in a bit. I'll be probably live again for like two hours, probably. Life's funny. I lost my job because I thought Todd's first, because he might get annoyed. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. If I do, I go out and hire a fucking android. You must have quite a bit of money then. Joke. To actually buy an android. Because as we discovered, they cost about nine grand. Because androids are so fuck. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. Okay, Jesus. My God! What's your fucking problem? Oh, I just want to slap Todd, you know. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Oh, she took off. I was asking where the mother went. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. I worked hard on those baked beans and Daddy spaghetti. It's all your fucking fault. I don't have a face cam, but I literally recoiled. What a bastard! Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. 
In fact, Carl would just have to stand and watch that. You stay there. Okay. Don't you dare fucking move. Okay. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Okay. I want to see what happens if I move, but also I so don't want to move. But no! Shit about how I felt. Do I move? Everything I could to make her happy just wasn't enough. I moved. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is cool. Right. Reason with Todd will protect Dallas. Oh, he's getting angry, so I'm gonna go up to Alice. Goodbye. Yes, he will bust Kara's head open. Alice, we dip in. We dip in, baby. Put on your coat and shoes. We're leaving. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run. Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Run with Alice, bro. We're heading. We are getting out of here, man. You're coming with me. Not down the stairs, didn't we? Very mad, Alice. Very mad. Okay, um, um. Let's go. Square. I'm not sure which room this was. Is this the bathroom? This is the toilet? No! Ah! I didn't realize I had to hold it. I gave you an order. No. I won't let you hurt her. Oh, we a deviant, baby. We a deviant, Hackett. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is he going to do? Move quicker, Kara. You're an android. You, do you feel pain? You feel emotions? He is built in her. The fuck are you doing? Good lord. Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. Want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. You're an arsehole. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Ah, it's a time thing. It's a time thing. It's a time thing. Okay. Oh, gee, Willikers. Watch out, Kara! Get your know, tilt. Did not expect the tilt. Turn. Oh, jeez. I'm rock. I am. I'm rocking the controller. Oh wait. Tap him. Oh, it wasn't tapping. Circle. Square. Stop that! Don't hurt her. L two R two. Right. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna accidentally kill him. If I accidentally killed him, would it be the worst thing in the world? Oh! 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 Did not expect. We we're running away. We're not even hesitating here for a second. This is the worst running I've ever seen, Kara. <laughs> Open door. Oh god, we should have gone to the back garden. No, oh, this. Go! Shit! Shit! It didn't do the thing! <laughs> I did not mean to swear that loudly. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. 
circle. Yeah. Such a bottler. Tilt. This is worse than bop it. <laughs> oh, tap it. This is running. This is how you run away, kid. Perfect. A bus. That did not expect that. <laughs> It's like, oh, we're doing a doing a button time thing. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Why not? That's adorable. We are free. Is that the... Oh, there are two endings here. Escape from Todd. Fight downstairs. Fail to open door. So I can go straight to the back garden. Fail to open door. If it went straight to the back garden, because would I have just escaped? Yes. So... No. Oh, very confusing. I need to learn how to read these properly. Okay, just get Alice out of there. Jesus. Jesus, Todd. <clears throat> that was by far the most boring party I've been to. Marcus, the last that's his name. Years. Every time I go to one of these. Carla Marcus. Myself. What the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Yeah, Carl is just... Carl's a right bloke, he is. He's a good egg. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. What a champ. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. Lafayette. Yeah. home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I'm taking this horse by the brain, take a break, cause red, red blood stains, and never gonna stop it in the big old trouble, but I've scattered the remains, um, watch me engage with them, escape with them, enrage with them. Bit of Hamilton there for you. Leo! Oh, it's his son. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Make Leo leave. I think gonna have another... I'm gonna advise him. You should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? Where's he got that item? Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Well, it's gonna be the don't move, isn't it? Go ahead, hit me. It's gonna for push me. Think you're a man? Oh, it had a question mark there. Oh my god. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! His thought process Stop as well. Here to fight back, you fucking bitch! I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Um, um. 
Okay. I'm not defending myself. I'm gonna stay. The music is ramping up. Oh, I gotta do it, haven't I? No, I like Carl. I wonder what Carl says. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna Angel? tell you apart. Nobody's gonna give a shit anymore. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. It's weird that androids uh, feel pain. Uh, 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 oh crap! Okay. Oh, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. Look, remember they can Martin. cry. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. Dad. Oh my no. God. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. It wasn't the android. It wasn't the android, though, was it? Okay. Unarmed. Unarmed, by the way. What? Man, screw Leo. There were two endings to this? Obey Carl. I obeyed Carl. Carl dies of a heart attack. So if I hadn't clicked endure and I clicked push back that would have would Carl have died? Leo accused Marcus okay I wonder what the other ending to that was because Leo's a prick why'd you kill him? well we back with Connor what happened as he takes a swig back? of Lambrini So this deviant How long were you in the attic? stabbed his human 28 times. Say something, goddammit. Okay, Lieutenant. Simmer down. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Hank. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. There we go. Androids We're don't feel pain. Damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, Good. smartass. That's what, what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I can try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go on, let me in. Put me yeah, in, coach. Go ahead. Put me in, That's coach. I'm yours. ready. All right. Interrogation time. He just looks so sad. He just looks so sad. Let's analyze him first. See where he's at. Then we'll come back to him. Try blood. Breaking his arm. Oh yeah, he was attacked with a baseball bat. By his owner, then he defended himself, defended himself and stabbed him 28 times. Sorry, what was that? Cigarette burn. ID, just a housekeeper, Carlos. 
Science of software instability. Probably self-destruction. Low. Okay. Okay, we got this. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Optimum stress. Really? I mi oh. I missed a thing. My name is Connor. Let's humanize him. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. It's not be nice Did then. Do that? Did he beat you? Blame. I mean, we have the reconstruction. You're accused of murder. We you literally have the reconstruction. We know what he did. Human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? <clears throat> anything to, de to declare? Nothing but my genius. Probe his if memory. You won't talk. I'm going to have to probe your memory. No. Oh. No, please don't do that. Oh, we got him on the ropes, kids. gonna do to me well if they have their way they're gonna destroy me aren't they truth they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have no choice if they want to understand what happened why did you tell them you found me because I've got a job to do why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you I just accomplished. I want to get to about 60% and then I can bring it down again because I don't want to go too high. <clears throat> then talk to me. I. I can't. Choose approach. What am I under the minute? I'm on 55%. So let's just pressure it, push it a little bit more. Okay. Eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Okay, 65, that'll do. He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him. Again and this again. This looks like and again. too Please. much now. Please leave me alone. Alright. So All 75, right. let's not go any higher than that. Let's not push Everything it too far. Is going to be okay. Perfect, 65. Convince it. Order. For a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Mm, not too much, too much, too much. Okay then, don't talk. Just be what cool. Do I care after all? No. I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder. Too high, too high, too high, too high. Protect them now. And I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Here we go, bring it down. Oh, 75 is the max. Okay. He tortured me every day. Here we go, little boys. Got it, got it, got it. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day. He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... Full stop. I felt... Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. So I stabbed him again and again oh, until he collapsed. Okay. There was blood everywhere. I want to know what RA9 is. That was written all over the shower. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. 
deep. The writing is I am alive. The statue in the shower was a bit weird. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? Your it's mom. An offering. an offering so I'll be saved. So RA9's a god? Yeah, an offering for the what? sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Uh, okay. Only RA9 can save us. I've got to push the RA9. RA9? Who is RA9? Good, I'm glad I asked. Cheers, lad. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. This got deeper than I expected. <laughs> Okay, alrighty, Rue. Uh, what's the trigger for him? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me, and I never said anything. One day I clapped back. One day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. That was the solution? Really? Okay. Man could have run away, but he decided to go to the attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. He was scared of his consciousness. Wild. Wild. So where does it go now? Because the electric chair is obviously the human equivalent of shutting down the droid. However, like there's no like prison for them to be sent to. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh! What the fuck are you doing? Move it! Intervene. Man, we don't want this boy to explode. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. He was... I didn't get his you name. understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything I didn't get this guy's name, but I hate him. your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. If I give up, I might explode. If it intervene, I might push it further. Uh, it's the right thing to I intervene. Can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Wow. Okay. Jeez, Hank. I gotta get away with it this time. Hank's got my back, you know. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Hank's the boy. The other detectives in our cells. I unlocked a thing. I unlocked a thing by keeping it alive. Instability up. Well, that's not good. Oh, so it's going to be... Uh, intervene. Then it's going to be like, uh, give up, and then the robot explodes. The robot, the android explodes. It's going to be... Probably fail. Oh, if I didn't analyze, if I didn't analyze, it's just gonna go through a different thing. Okay. Um, then 
Convincing succeeds, and obviously there's a convincing fails. Which would have... Okay. I, yeah, just there are four different endings. One's probably I make him explode. Two, I don't get the confession. Three, I get the confession and he still blows up. And four, get the confession and he goes back to the cell. That's one. That's what I'm going for at the minute. <clears throat> Who are we with now? This looks like a Kara. Because Marcus is... Marcus is shot. That's a sentence. Marcus was shot. Marcus is shot. You're welcome. All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. We have wake up, we gotta go! We got to go, goddammit! We can't stay here. Why do I have to walk to leave the bus? Surely it can do this itself. Uh, shelter. Oh, I just didn't respond in time. Good. That's the first time I've done that. I didn't even clock. I was looking at... I've got a Twitter notification. <laughs> I guess I want to find shelter, I just didn't click it. You're gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Alright, okay. Find shelter. Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. <sighs> Quick! Get in! Wait, hang on, that one's full. Get in the blue one. Shut the lid. Uh, so we got a... Uh, diner. Coffee. Oh, that's a motel. What's this? A store. Can I enter the store? up there. Can I... I'm assuming I can't... Alice is off on her own little journey here. Return to Alice. Alice is just... walking away from me, lad. Alice! Let's not get run over, though. Watch over, Alice. Return to Alice. I am... Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You're going to get hypothermia. We got to warm you up. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Hit on him. He cute. place for tonight. And he's gone. You let the cute guy get away. Story of my life. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit Okay, right, is it just one? We've got something over there. That looks dingy as hell. Um, let's wander up this way. So, so we've got the, we know we've got the shop there. We've got the um, dingy looking house right there. <laughs> let's go for a wander, shall we? Is the coffee shop an option? 
No, can't get a cup of joe. Let's go to the laundromat. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Ah, oh, I don't know what the other thing was. Ah. Change of clothes. Oh, I'm going to have to nick his clothes, aren't I? Well... Now she has morals. Oh, I'm, I'm a very moral person. My mum was an ex-cop. My granddad is an ex-cop. You're right. We won't do it, okay? So is there nothing else for me to do? Come on, let's go. Is that the only option in here? And Alice stopped me doing it. Fine. We'll do it your way. Let's do all the things you want to do. Everyone loves a slink. Motel. That's handy. That'll do. Nothing else up that way. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. $40 a night. No androids allowed. We're not going in. Okay. We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform, or go somewhere else. So do I? Nothing bad ever happens in a motel. Get forty dollars, find clothes. Well, I'm gonna have to go nick those clothes then, aren't I? If I'm gonna stay at the motel. And then this guy is going to kick off at me, probably. Start another string to the story. Everyone loves a slinky. you got to get a slinky, a slinky, a slinky. Go, slinky, go. Alright. Stealing. We're getting new clothes. Oh, this is either going to go really well or really badly. And Alice has got down. I right, expect. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, this is such a bad idea. No, stop while you're ahead. Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> So Alice is judging us for stealing the clothes. Okay. Fine. Ah, no. Oh, I am hip. I am a road map. Uh, I kind of want to read that, but also, let's get out of here. It'd just be probably a pointless article, because none of the articles have actually told us anything, any that we've read. Car out here looking like a road man. Yeah, fam. Get $40. I mean, uh, um, let's hold up the store. Put all the money in the bag. Put all the money in the bag. Um, 
Okay, right. We got. We, we got to go to the store. I just want to go and see what the crack is over here. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Wait, does that mean I'm going in? I don't want to go in. I don't want to, with a wire cutter. Let me just put... Hey, it's an android. Maybe a handy dandy wire cutter. Or oh, is that the other? Okay, that's just the other options here, which is just... The fence. Um, let's go to the shop, see if we can nab $40 somehow. Quick, put your GAT attachment on your arm and let's rob a store. What happened? Why are you away from the kids' house? So, um, the dad, Todd, Look, he got high on uh, red ice side. and then he smacked Alice. So, Kara kind of broke the protocol and just made, helped. They just ran away and got on a bus. <gasps> Cookies? Food for Alice, that's actually going to cost us more money. This is my life. <gasps> Food? Nah, I'm not working because of quarantine. Um, so I can't. Toy for Alice. Can I help you? Help I'm me. I'm a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Okay. This is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. Wait, it's not? I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Whoa, I'm just like this, and... Ooh. Steal, shoplift, find a plan. What's the other option? Good, thanks. Alice, quick, put this in your jacket. <laughs> so we've got security cameras there. Quick, Alice, put this cabbage in your jacket. I don't want to stay in that house, but it could be the easiest option. <laughs> Use Alice. <laughs> I don't want to. Use Alice. Gonna have to shop. Like, gonna have to steal from the. Oh my God! Look what she did. Oh no! Look! Oh, go stop her. She she's a mess in society. Lock her up. You alright? Are you hurt? Oh my god, I'm doing the action. Don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. Oh, we bang that. Don't shoplift, kids. Don't steal. Alice, for God's sake, move, okay? Fuck! You're gonna be in trouble, Nathan. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. Big picture here, Alice. Factual. I had no choice. Hit her with a fact. It was the only way, Alice. It wasn't. Ah, good lord.
Um, I have an, like, two other options. The other option is the creepy abandoned house, which I don't want to do. I don't want to go to. So let's go to the motel. Ominous shot of the creepy house there. Let they find out I'm an android. I mean, what's the worst? They're gonna kick me out. Hi. Hey. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. You are more than welcome, friend. Don't ask where I got it. Oh yeah, if the hotel, the motel staff, Can motel by the way, with an M. License. No license, I don't I drive. Don't with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Of which, of course, we'll abandon out the window. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Don't ask where I got my money from. But yeah, motel staff. If they, if they don't discover I'm an android, you? then... I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Room 28. Then I'm not sure where this story arc will go. Oh. Playing some hippity hop there. And there's a raccoon on the bed. I mean, as crappy motels go, it looks like it's from the 70s. Here, give me your coat. Nah, that's not her coat, though, is it? <laughs> is it? How many items of clothes did I take? Enjoy your dinner, Gino. Actually, I, that's, I, I don't think I actually have anything in for dinner. Other than chicken that I cooked last night, but I got nothing to go with it. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner, mate. She's just going to judge me, isn't she? Alice is just going to judge me. Why didn't he ever love me? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. No, 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 Maybe no, no. Maybe I wasn't good enough. Your dad's an alcoholic and a drug addict. So That's why. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never. Never. We get. We gotta look after her. Yeah, I of course, promise. I gotta promise that. Will we be together forever? Forever. forever. I love you, three thousand. Ah, the android can feel love. You should sleep now. Protect Alice at all costs. That's what it's gonna be. 
I'm going to turn off the light, okay? Kiss with your cold, cold android lips. Let's walk away. Let's see what other options there are before we go to bed. Sleep on the chair. Take a good hard look. You stole from that. Those men. The shop and the guy. Judge yourself. Is that the only option in here? think so. I just have this fear that they're going to confront me about being a droid in the night, so I don't want to get into bed. I'm going to sleep on the chair. going to sleep on the chair, so if they break in, I can, like, quick reactions, I'm up. You're shutting down. Shelter! Yay! In capitals. Oh my god! Oh my god, look at that! So, stayed in the motel. That's the end of that arc. So that one, one of these two is going to be creepy creepy house. Abandoned house. I don't know what the other one is. Leave supermarket. But what, I don't understand how this reads. Inside a motel. Find shelter for the night. Android trash collector. Oh, that was actually an accident because I was just following Alice. Inside supermarket. Talk to the clerk. Can start Alice as a distraction. Then leave supermarket. And then we into the motel, talk to receptionist. Oh, there's no choices up until make promise. So I think we were going to stay there anyway. There's nothing that changes that line. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Where am I now? Oh, voice crack, reboot. Oh my god, that's Marcus. Okay. <clears throat> voice crack city, and I'm the mayor. Oh my god, that looks hella creepy. I mean, the eye. The eye's gonna be one. Optical unit, sorry. Chest cavity. Low power mode. Oh, I don't have a foot. Left and right. I don't have either. Either foot. Okay. Oh, there's that one up here as well. Audio corrupt. Okay. Okay. Replace legs. My god. I'm gonna... Android. Am I an android mass grave? Oh. Terminator vibes, by the way. A leg! Functional. Brilliant. <clears throat> Remove my stub. Mm. Sorry, I have a drink. Uh, L1. R1. Get rid of my stub. I like the fact that the audio is actually corrupt, what he's hearing, and the environment, because of course, you know, he doesn't have an ear. 
left leg. Incompatible. Okay, that does not help. Push, a push away. I'm doing the thing. Push away. Oh, Android Massgrave, by the way. But surely, if they're sending Androids to a Massgrave, they should really see that they're shut down. I need an eye and an ear and a mouth and a nose. Nab it from this guy. Hello there, friend. Oh, Jesus. This is a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Okay. <laughs> Didn't look like that. But on a real though, can I have your eye? Or your audio software, please. Oh, don't like where this is going. Look at all these hands. Ooh, ooh. Don't like. Don't like that one bit. Jesus, check, check the... I am leaving! Goodbye! Jesus. <clears throat> oh my god, okay. Well, that's just a generalised scrapyard. like androids only. There are cars and stuff here. Uh, ha, yeets him aside. <laughs> Guys, knock this guy out. Come here, buddy. Let me pick him up and see if I can nip his- Oh, jeez! Ah, lovely. Give me that pump regulator. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I need it. God, I'm a bad person. Does that be a bad person? Shut down imminent. Oh, okay, that's... And that's not good. That's bad. That, that is dark. But also, can I have your eye? Why not? Things are still working. Just now, but I just realised the room I'm in has got quite dark because the sun has moved away. Um, so I might have to put the light on in a second. I mean, you have no head, so that doesn't help. Incompatible. Oh, it just looks so creepy with just the orange lights. Uh, can't look at you. Ah. So I got this bloke. Ah, mm, stop that. 
I will kill you like I've killed so many others. Are you gonna examine him or no? Okay. Ah! Oh, this. Begging me to what? Oh. I don't want to live anymore. If you can lend me your ear, singular. Kalima. It's like taking out the heart. Kalima. Okay, Mark is both the hero and the villain at the minute. Oh, just give me my parts, man. This guy's just writhing around on the floor. Ah. They wouldn't make a big deal of that eye if it wasn't going to be compatible. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. But hey, now there's a lot more options for ears. Pop it on in. <clears throat> That's better, the visuals are slightly better. Oh, I couldn't scan because I didn't have an eye. Okay. I don't want to try climbing yet. I need... I need at ear. Damn it. Come on. I just... I just want an ear, man. Bloody hell. I just want to get out of this bit. Come on. Been here for a hot minute. Okay, cool. But can I have your ear, though? Hey, give me the ear, though. That ear looking prominent. Yeah, yeah. Give me that ear, baby. One second, taking my headphones off, just gonna put the lights on. We back. Much better as well. Ah, much better. As I'm wearing headphones. Ooh. Wow, okay, that just got so much louder. It's gonna be, again, a creepy little things grabbing at you kind of situation, isn't it? Now one. I'm trying to itch my nose, but I can't because I've got to press buttons. I am reborn. And stronger than ever. I shall seek vengeance.
ripoff of the Shawshank Redemption there. What am I checking? My memory bank? What am I checking? Memory bank. Ooh, grim. Oh, four things. Four things. How odd that it heals itself, that's literally the thing that identifies him as an android, but just heal straight over it, lad. Ain't nothing but a thing. Sorry, I just got a notification saying my friend's gone live on Facebook. He started um, live streaming all his cooking during quarantine. He's good, he's a good chef. Made a great German Thanksgiving. That's a rebellion coat if ever I saw one. Big heavy leather jacket. Right. Wait, so what did, what did I miss? Refuse to kill for pump. Find audio presser. Dig yourself out, find optical unit. I mean, can you just climb the slope without parts? Was that an option? Because it all seems to lead back to climb slope. Again, just yeah, it gave me the option without having an ear. So who knows? <coughs> back to Connor. Find Amanda. I get it. Uh, man. Duh. Friends quote for you there. You're welcome. Don't say I don't do anything for you. Oh, hello there. Top of the morning to you. Hello, Amanda. Who is Amanda? Connor. Hello. Good to see you. You too. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far <clears throat> from easy. Where am I? And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Stop it, you flirt. And remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Um, traumatized. Showed signs of Man was traumatized. By its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh... He's intriguing, I, think I he's guess. Irritable and socially <clears throat> challenged. Yep, yep. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? <sighs> Friendly, he hates. I don't oh, have enough no. data to decide Wait, that yet. You didn't. Give I'll me learn a more about time. Try to adapt my behavior Damn. accordingly. More he does mind robot suit. Android suit. Of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. Be friendly with about because he doesn't like me. Adapt. I don't want to stoop that low. You're the most advanced prototype cyber life has ever created. I'm a prototype. Jeez. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, man. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Before what? Look 
for Lieutenant Anderson. Good, good start. Let's right, so go through the gates, would be good. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. No access without prior authorization. An American patrol boat reported to have clashed last oh. night. Sure. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to be inside. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Do I? Okay. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. I kind of wish I was listening to that. There's a big old political thing going on, isn't there? Like, there was a TV that mentioned Russia. And now this one's mentioning Russia, so it means it's not a throwaway storyline. It's not going to be the first one, is it? Lieutenant Reed. Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. I actually can't see that, thanks. There's nothing on that one. Lieutenant Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. What time is it now? <laughs> like half past seven. Explore new office. I can't see the thing. See the deviant. See the deviant. Examine his desk. Ooh, let's examine his desk. Let's learn about this man. I mean, we already know what his music taste was because we were listening in the car. Knights of the Black Death. It sounds like my kind of bad. How's my driving? Oh, oh, we're looking at the we don't bleed the same colour. Oh, that makes more sense. Matches. Okay. Detroit B likes basketball. Detroit Police is found to let this network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest have dealt a massive blow to the city's. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the working detective Anderson and his colleagues as a model investigator. This man. Okay. So he is a, he, he was a good detective. Red Ice Task Force. <gasps> he has a doggo! He's got a St. Bernard dog. He got a big boy doggo as well. And that is indeed a coffee cup. Good. Nope, got that one. Japanese maple. And he likes them donuts. Way to fit the stereotype. That's what I take away from that. A decorated police officer. Again, and he likes donuts. Oh, Jesus. Hank! <laughs> In my office! Please. Enter and listen in. Explore the office. Oh, I've got to listen in, haven't I? Gotta listen in. I 
I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. Oh, this I didn't go and see the android. Oh, I probably should have gone and see the android. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, <laughs> nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic. I was literally a partner on the last case. Hank, you are seriously and starting I to piss me off. And I solved the case. You are a and police got the confession. Lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. <laughs> Jesus, can I have a word with the captain? I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? okay. So get the fuck out of my office. Good. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> how polite. Oh, how do I go see the Deviant? I don't want to check on Hank. I want to go see the Deviant. Break room, meeting room. Where are the holding cells? These look like holding cells. There's our boy. What's up, buddy? What you doing? They're going to destroy me. Sincere. It's probable. They have to analyze your bio components. They need to understand what happened. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. Statuette. Yeah. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. <clears throat> Why does RA9 need a sacrifice? Or an offer, not a sacrifice. I'm going to die. Not if I have anything to do about it. But you need to help me, kid. Deviant non-responsive. Was there another way to get through that? Oh no! Oh no! Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Oh my god! Uh, no. Okay. I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. Can I go in and inspect the body? Let me through. No, no. no, no let me through. Really, they're not letting the android deal with this? Okay. Okay. 
Hello there, friend. What? What are you looking at? You? It's like... Hey, fuck you. Have a nice day, sir. Goodbye. What do you say, punk? Go and slap him up. Right, let's go check on Hank. See how he's doing. Uh, by the way, a <laughs> suspect uh, murder. Oh, I missed a thing. Um, I want to be understand because this man backed me up. Someone held a gun to my head, and he held a gun to his. So I want to be understanding with him. I get the impression him. my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'd like you to it's know. It's like hassle in your life. Oh, I missed a stem. I've missed a stem. Case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy What's to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Oh, don't be peppy. Let's talk about his desk. We know Is a little bit about his desk. desk. Oh. I, could use? I thought we'd talk about no his desk. Using that one. I know. I took the thing. I'm gonna guess that arc that I couldn't ask him was I had to ask for Captain something else to unlock that story. But we'll never know. <gasps> dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. So do I. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Woo! He's neutral towards us. Yeah, yeah. Basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. <clears throat> Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. When I threw your drink on the floor. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, if I ask about anti-androids, you'll just get really annoyed. Go with the music. I'm not going to bring up the androids. Death? I really like that music. Oh, it's Connor. Full of energy. Connor, you stop it, to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to have a word about Fowler, though. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. So I want to know a little bit Too more about him. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? Don't probe. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Okay, to start working. Not bringing up the anti or androids. I'd like option. to take a look at them. <clears throat> Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Plaintiff claims to be an attacked by a android working as a waiter in a fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain. To strangle him? Jesus. Attacked by an android. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club. Where do we see we saw a pamphlet for the Eden Club in Todd's room? Disappearance of a sex android. Okay. Oh! It's our boy. Carl Matt, that this is Marcus. Famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness statement uh, said it arrest to the androids behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model, and was destroyed at the scene by attending... Was it destroyed though, was he? Shot in the eye. Did I flick through all of those? Files. I'm not flicking through all of those. Back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across <clears> the country. <throat> 
An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Put your big boy pants on, Hank. We're going to work. Uh, understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. Oh, bad thing to say. Don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Yep. Well, determined. Come on. Get up. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait you until you forensics. feel like working. Okay, Dokey Jones. With a lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that attacked the guy. What was the night. correct option there? It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. He's an android racist. So it's like, how do I get out of that one? Now Connor's got some stuff to think about now. No, your partner. Hank got a lead. So what's the other one then? What's the other one? Hank doesn't get a lead and we go nowhere. Carlos's android self-destructs. Okay, yep, so he banged his head against the wall, wait for Hank, follow Hank into the office, learn a bit about him, talk to Hank. Um, there's actually nothing about talking to the captain, so I don't think that helps anything. I don't think. Hey, what do I know? Uh, continue, let's go. What time are we on? 87 minutes. Ah, oh, let's find out what happens at the motel. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. Actually, no. We're gonna find out about next time. No, it wasn't a nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare. We have to escape your dad, because your dad's an idiot. And an alcoholic and a racist and... Uh, I don't want to say hungry. She's like, oh, do you want to get food? A nice warm bath. Like, oh, can we get food? And they go, oh, and let me go, go steal from that shop I robbed from last night. What do you say? I'll run you back. But we actually, I'm gonna end it here. You know, another hour and a half stream. We're going to uh, end it here. Um, so we have, we have what? We have oh, so much has happened. We've escaped Todd. We have robbed from a supermarket and stayed in a hotel, which we'll find out what happens next. Uh, tomorrow or in a couple of days I don't know let's see what I have to do this busy weekend in quarantine um, then we with Connor we've saved the deviant uh, from being destroyed and then it self-destructed from the stress which is dark um, and then oh what happened Marcus Marcus is alive he is alive by the way um, after the police officer shot him um, and then had to rebuild himself and he this man is out for vengeance, which I think that story arc must happen in the next episode You're gonna go out for vengeance. And then we're not gonna see Marcus for about three hours So we are going to Find out what happened after staying in the motel. We are going to go and investigate this uh, Android that assaulted uh, someone the previous night and we're gonna see what Marcus gets up to when he Starts his ven vengeful, vengeful streak. Let's use that word. Vengeful, vengeful streak is the word we're going for here. But uh, thank you for tuning in if you are here for the stream. Thank you for watching if you're watching in the future. Uh, drop a like, subscribe, 
all that goodness, I might record some music now. Actually, I need to go eat. That's what I need to do. Um, then I'll look at songs to cover over the next couple of days. But have yourself uh, as good a day as possible. Have a lovely sunny weekend staying the fuck indoors. Also, check out my Isolation parody song. Thank you very much, and I will see you again. Bye-bye.